Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you on a journey through my university slash college sketchbooks. I also want to preface this by there might be a few fairly dark topics in these sketchbooks um, stuff to do with pregnancy and losing a child and all that kind of thing and um, that's only because during my year of college my mum died so I went through a whole period of motherhood and thinking about my mum and babies and children and anyway if you're triggered by anything like that I will as a warning now and I'll also give a warning hopefully when I get up to it um, or I'll like insert a warning when I'm about to get to it because I don't know where it is in these books. So this first one <laughs> I tried to make it look really cool because everyone else's sketchbooks looked really arty so I just like threw a bunch of paint on there to make it more arty. I also did this. This was these colours I did after the fact because again I wanted to make my sketchbook look more arty but I actually quite like it. It's just um, like tissue paper that I I've super glued, not super glued, print sticked to the pages. It's not actually a bad um, sketch to be quite honest. What else have we got here? Carving number two by Barry Flanagan and I wrote it's got an organic tongue like shape. So these are just sort of my observing sketches. Oh and here we have my first ever dive into Van Gogh. So I'd been aware of Van Gogh before because my mum was um, a big fan of him but um, I delved into him as well. You know what, the more I'm going through this I really like the way these colours are done, it looks really cool. God, my writing is flipping awful though and you can see where I've like messed up but I didn't want to type it initially because I wanted it to have like a very organic feel. One thing you're taught at university or well I learned this at college and then it was reinforced at university, make everything intentional. For example, if you were going to bind two sticks together, for example, don't just use whatever binding you can get hold of, make it part of the artwork. What else have we got? Is that more on Van Gogh? Yes, it's the cafe, which is probably my second favourite. First being um, Night Over the Rhone. What's this? Oh, Paula Rago. I was really interested in her work because she does lots of female figures and she manages to make them look really womanly but strong at the same time and I, I just really liked that about her artwork. There's a great quote down here by her. Painting is practical but it's magical as well. Being in the studio is like being inside my own theatre. That's cool, not wrong. Another one of my favourites, Francisco Goya. I just liked his work because there's a kind of macabre darkness to it and um, yeah I, I've sent to focus on people that draw a lot of women because I like drawing women so I just had a brief glance at what's the next page. You're about to see my first ever attempt at a portrait which is not great <laughs> so don't judge me too harshly. Okay <laughs> oh my god what have I got down here oh my god so I clearly did this and then I realised I had to write something about it so I wrote it on sticky notes so I could stick it in. I chose red because I believe myself to be a passionate person. I did leave my eyes blue because I believe the eyes are the window to the soul. Ugh. And sometimes I feel very lonely and sad. Oh, <laughs> I really like the cartoon style I think I will use it in the future. See that's interesting because I think my most of my drawings do have a cartoonish style to them. What else have we got? Oh my god. I don't, I don't know, okay? I don't know. Okay, so, <laughs> it's a foot. Okay, a few things. Why are the toes so small compared to the rest of the foot? Like, what? Like, I, I mean, the shading's not bad, to be honest, like here, but like, what, the, what, 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 what is that? It's just really interesting to see. So, who did I start on? So I started with, like, very basic. It's just a figure study and then I ended it with all this like really expressionist colourful sort of more abstract stuff very interesting to um, reflect on so this is my collections book so I think my collections it was the name of the project right okay I think this is the one where it might get a bit dark but I'll, I'll try and let you know when I come up to it don't know, don't, no idea what these are they're like different types of female body but with like faces on them so this is me like sort of testing, I think it's gesso and paint, uh, acrylic paint on different surfaces to see what they do. Just whatever really. Here's me exploring more body types. This one always makes me laugh because of this here and, and the boobs. If you cut that off it kind of just looks like a weird face. <laughs> looks like a little alien. Right, I think 
I think my mum had died at this point. I'm not sure. It's hard to it's hard to tell because I don't I don't date things very well. But you can tell I'm looking at like pregnancy and sort of children and that kind of thing. And this is me sort of making an idea. Like I, I think I was going to make like a um, a sculpture out of it. Software. Oh, I hate this. I remember this drawing. Oh, God, it's so awful. So I didn't want to sculpt the vagina because I thought that would be a bit too much. So I had this idea to put some kind of dove or bird in the way. But like this is just an awful drawing. This looks really bad. Uh, I don't know why this is in here. The Dark Faith. Oh, I think this might be for... I, I was considering writing a story. Presumably about witches or something. It looks kind of witch-like. Although that's an Ankh from Egyptian mythology. Which is the symbol for eternal life. So, don't know. But <laughs> pretty edgy. I had this idea for a series of sculptures. About a fetus inside of a womb it all started off very innocent in a way and then the more i tried to figure out how to because i really wanted the baby to be like suspended but i figured if i put a rod through the baby it's gonna look like the baby's you know been killed so um i said i started to focus on sort of more 2d aspects of things yeah and i made these little like baby shapes which they don't really look like babies to be honest apart from this one that was kind of interesting i like how dark the um the circle is while still being very colorful these look like figure studies i have done wet paper with yellow brusher dye and powdered ink it's funny how like the accidents actually look the most interesting to me i think i was trying to find the simplest way to represent the female form I don't know, it's funny because I don't want children now, so I think I was obsessed with the idea of children just because I'd lost my mum, not because I wanted children specifically. Okay, this is this is the bit, this is your extra final warning. So, okay, this was an unintentional artwork. So these strips here, I cut out flat and then I like splat paint everywhere and that was like the paper that I just happened to use to cover the surface in. And then, I don't know, I just drew a baby on it because it was interesting and then I actually ended up keeping it because I just thought it was really cool. Okay, so this one is the success baby. So like, the baby was born, it's fine. So you've got like, yellow, it's all bright and colourful and happy and what have you. And the way I managed to do it is this is a piece of string and I think I had two cutouts of a baby and I glued it either side. So like the baby's almost holding on instead of it being skewered. The black one, so this is like dark black with like really dark colours all over it. Um, this one's still born so i only put one a baby on one side and then this one which is the really dark one is abortion so i'm editing this currently and i just want to say the artwork i'm about to talk about is not it's not indicative of my stance on abortion because i fully support abortion if you don't want the child there's no harm in getting rid of it you know your body your rule type things i think i was just in a very dark place and i was just making dark stuff that's pretty much it now on with the video. Obviously you've got the coat hanger. I'm not even going to go into why that is symbolising for what it is, but if you know, you know. Um, it's incredibly dark. I don't think I'd do anything like this now, but I was in just such a dark place that I don't know, I had to get it out some way. So um, <laughs> that's very dark. The, the, I'm glad I've done it in this order though, because the last one is much more positive i think at least than this one so this is my summer project in 2014 so i think this is i think this is before first year well, that's my old dress um I, I ordered a lot of stuff and i just really liked the um the labels <laughs> I don't know, I stuck the labels, stuck the labels down. Okay, so I was trying to gather a bunch of images that I could take to uni with me, and so I'd just be like inspired, or if I needed inspiration, I could flick through them. I think I went through different sections. This is like the abstract section. Um, some of these are artworks, like that one, and this one are actual artworks, and I think the rest are just images I saw from wherever. But more abstract things. That is from a slow guy's slow guys, slow mo guys video where they put paint in a speaker. <laughs> like that. I think that's the greatest thing I do like about being an artist. You can find inspiration like pretty much anywhere. More abstract things. Oh that's my eye. <laughs> and I think that's my own artwork as well. I don't know what these are. I think that's a bulb and that's some like nails in short. And that I think is the cherry blossom tree that's right over there over the road at my granddad's. Clearly I was very into abstract things. I think it's because at the time I was scared to try anything more concrete because you can mess up a painting and just call it abstract. <laughs> 
I think that's what, what what my fascination with abstract was. Yeah, here's my representational stuff. My nails are such a good colour there. I think, I think it was on Reddit or something. Someone called them anime pigeons. And then this beautiful girl here with her. I love the colours of it. It's so amazingly lovely. I really... These buttons, by the way, I can't remember why I bought them. But I think I was in like a haberdashery shop, which has like a bunch of miscellaneous stuff related to like drawing painting generally like crafts though and um, i think they had like a thing of buttons like leftover buttons that you could buy just bought some buttons cat this is cool actually i quite like the the way her arms sort of bent very colorful though all, all fairly colorful and then i like this here this is beautiful clearly not real obviously it's been like edited but still pretty so i think i liked this because it's like such a perfectly looking flower oh dear um don't know what that's supposed to be i like the straight lines in this image so i've just kind of repeated them okay so what i've done here is i'm taking images that i like from the from the previous pages and i'm kind of emulating them myself so apparently i like the shadows more than the actual like image itself so i was like focusing on the shadows from that one. Oh, these like nebula sort of pictures these look nothing like it but i think that's what i was going for Really liked watercolour pencils, decided to use them to make this drawing. Wow, these are, I didn't realise I'd used watercolour pencils before. I don't really like watercolour pencils. I really like this one. I don't, actually. I think it's awful. Here's the funny thing, right? I think when I showed this to my tutor, I told her I purposely tried to take this image and make it really simple. That's not the case. I just couldn't replicate this in the way I wanted it to be. So I just, I just bullshitted my way through it. <laughs> like this i lost inspiration for this project but i still continue to draw my own stuff then i realized there should be one thing my uni work and my homework should blend so I, I do prefer to draw people or beautiful things so after drawing a picture of this girl called mary who is very inspirational i decide to pull that into this project oh hi <laughs> So this is that YouTuber, I think. Mary YouTuber. Oh, so it's Super Mary. So it's um, Cinnamon Toast Ken's wife? Are they married? I don't know. I stopped watching her a long time ago. She had a very nice face, aesthetic face. I don't actually mind this drawing. It's kind of interesting. I might try and redraw it. She looks a bit mental, actually, though. She looks like she about stabbed someone with a knife, but I'm not sure why I had such a fascination with repetition, to be honest. Another one. <laughs> This is so funny, I'm just reading my own words back. So if you can't, you can probably tell a little bit there's some bleeding happening with the watercolour pencils. I'm right at the bottom, which you can't really see off camera, but I've written, I chose to make the colour bleed like this. <laughs> I did not choose to make the colour bleed like this, it just did it and I had to figure it out the end. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty cool looking. I think I got some ink actually, because it kind of has got the shininess of ink i assume i just put a glob on the paper and then like rotated it kind of like that actually they're actually kind of interesting if you look at them as a series get rid of that one they're actually kind of interesting to look at oh right this is where i went through my phase of combining images so i wanted to combine the woman and the flower and then this woman and the pigeon <laughs> i kind of like that drawing actually that's quite funny and then i've got We've got a woman and a tiger. <laughs> Furries everywhere rejoice. <laughs> that was my forte into my three books. Um, I know I spoke a lot. I hope this video isn't too long. I will try and trim it down as much as I can. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want to see more like it, let me know. I will try and dig out some more stuff because I'm sure I've got it somewhere. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.